Duplessis. Seven can be tackled, that's fine. And the beast cries from the South African supporters, and there are many in the stadium. Easter's on the wrong side, must retreat. England anxious again, Hartley trying to get in there. Pinar, it goes back to him. Smith. Pinar. England have been tested before, they've held out before. Can they do it again? We're on Pinar once more. There's Stain to Athlon, but Athlon runs into a man. That man is Hodgson. Pinar to Juan Smith. Oh, what a rock he is, but England, a rock in return. Now it's from Stone onto Spies. Is that it? It is. There's the try at last, and it's that man, Elbitz, again. Once more, he comes on as a replacement on this tour to score. Anyone coming in from the side? See what Francois Stone thought of it. Backing up the theory, I think probably everybody anticipated that South Africa would come here even without a Grand Slam oh, being sure. available an even more motivated side if that was possible because of the loss oh, oh. well now Mornay Stain is in drop kick time this is this is his period of the game 6-14 they'll drive once or twice they don't need tries waste a couple of minutes drop a goal Stain well both Stains are back waiting but it's with Omvovo, oh. and a try here ends it. Omvovo goes over. It was nothing to do with a drop goal. It was all to do with South Africa's precision when it mattered, knowing exactly what was possible. And so often over the years, South Africa... Up from Youngs. Foden. It could be an interesting bounce. Foden was watching it like a hawk, but it's taken well by Peterson. Stain, Habana, restored to action. De Villiers, the captain, goes against Ashton, he really should get him and does. But it's back for the Springboks and could see it. And that's the England 22. Who hard to Stain. Alberts, England are stretched here, Foden's had to step in. Well, right down the middle goes Yanni Duplessis. If he goes right... If it comes quickly, England in trouble, they're getting men across now, and they have. Yanni Duplessis decided to plough down the middle. He had support outside, here's Etzebeck. Two or three metres short, who hard to Lambie, oh, he didn't have the ball. Who hard again, it's still on, tries to go low. England hanging on. South Africa once more with the beast. The Shark supporters would love him to score, they would have loved Lambie to score, but they'll take anybody and they'll take the ball, Stane. The first try for a Heineken Bear, South African team. Eventually, England crack. It's 11-6. Raw power from the spring box, it wasn't that sophisticated decisions at the moment, they're just being overpowered. Can't get out of their own half either. And driven towards their own try line, even from a pick up from their own scrum. England in trouble here. Nothing summed up the second half like that moment. And Young's waits. Even when they kick long, it comes straight back. That one's staying in the field of play. Manatu Elangi puts the pressure on, but it's Habana gone again. This time holding on to the ball. It comes Pinar. Freya, Peterson, the captain. John de Villiers going for the line. Still wrestling to get it down, and he does. And that has got this Durban crowd jumping now. This is very dangerous for England, this situation. Maybe too dangerous from this point through to the end. of the Rumble up from Big Flip from Amerva. Tina and Hofart peeling around. Tina wants a quick ball, he has it. Spice. 
Itzebeth makes the clean up to Villiers, and JP Peterson rounds off something that he started way back in his own half. An extraordinary passage of rugby from the Springboks. Look at this run by the big man, started on his own 10-yard line. He's just will of the wisp his way through the first six or seven defenders, and then he's turned on the engine, knocked off a couple of tacklers. When the balls come back at him after a lovely run up the middle by Pierre Spies, Pinar's found De Villiers, who's flicked it on to J.P. Peterson. He's waltzed over. Now, as Owen and Kamani was saying, vital line-out ball, Spies does it. Now it's still the field. Making a little ground, they need to pile in behind there. Pina has he gone the right way? Aplon. It's just raw every time Chio Aplon gets the ball here in Port Elizabeth. That's better. That's skipping a man. Kankoski was the carrier. Now Kutsia. Three meters out, South Africa. Pina had a look and then popped it up. Had to go into clear out and to a rear at half back. Decides to go, Creel right up in support. Yanni Duplessis is there now. Now Pina wide up. Peterson, John Paul Peterson. Gets his second try in two test matches. Well, we saw him score last week and do a massive swallow dive, and he's been sheepish. It led to an offside there that was missed, the ricochet. He came back forward off the kicker. So Etzebet takes a change of policy, change of emphasis here from South Africa as they look to go for that England line and get the big score. Round they go, behind Pinar. The Ulster half back to Etzebet again. Alberts is there, Strauss, big men all. But it's loose, and then another ball comes flying back. Oh, that is rotten luck for England if that is a try for Alberts. And I think it might well be. Willem Alberts, who scored here a couple of years ago when he just burst onto the scene as a replacement. Physical Vunapola will force away. Brown soften breaks that tackle initially, does it again. Vunapola too, but not a good pass. Eastman collects. Johnny May. Little buzz goes round the ground on the back of his try last week. Oh, interception given away, and South Africa in the shape of Serpentine have gone. I'm happy. I don't think I, we need the chip. I, I, Too many mistakes I here from England. Care. Yeah. Been a fine line for the scrum half today. That charge down has never been far away. There's Reinach on the floor, so Strauss plays the role of scrum half. Comes shooting back to Vermeulen. There's Lambert. He'll chip in behind, and this is going to fall. For LaRue, LaRue's got a man outside, Reinach who's very quick to get there, there's that speed, what a stop. Well, Mars, we just said. Delende from a standing start, looked a bit tired the centre there. Again. Absolutely, Mars. In goes Rob Shaw again. Away, six. Chop yeah, attack, he does ball. not look tired. LaRue, but there might be a few men out here for Whiteley to stretch those athletic legs that we were talking about inside to Houston and South Africa get one back. They needed a pick me up and they get one there. And we talked about England patience, well that was South Africa's turn to show patience in the build-up. And the turnover is good for England. for the kick for Ben Young, so he has to take on that responsibility himself. Pollard. 
Does well to keep it in. And that time Slade's tackle not standing up to scrutiny. And some more possession on the front foot for the Springboks. De Klerk sniping and finding De Lindy. And Corsi once again, kick and chase. Oh, has he got it? And over with the penalty. Tap down from Snayman, he was under pressure at a Springbok line-out throw. A little switch between Khaleesi and Delendi. Here's De Klerk, just un unable to wriggle his way out of the tackle. But it's front football again for the Springboks. And captain Khaleesi. De Klerk very flat for Lucanio Am. Back they come to the right, Jean-Luc Dupriere. Vermeulen with the pick and drive. Need to roll away quickly, the English players. And Tauriro with a carry to Clerk. Pollard, here's LaRue. And beautiful example! Oh, that's magnificent! A second try for Spoo and Corsi. They try to exit their 22. It's a good point, that, Owen. It is the second time that Ben Akif has been in a position to receive the pass and almost got it. Less than two minutes to play in this pulsating first half. And the Springboks have a penalty advantage as they get their more rumbling towards England's line with Pongyo Banambi controlling. De Klerk snipes. Dummy runners in the midfield. Here's Billy LaRue. LaRue! Oh, fantastic score! South Africa hit the front through Billy LaRue's 11th test try. I think there'll be some pundits out there who think that's maybe a bit harsh. Aka Fandamava finds Snayman, then gets it back from him. Dutoy. Strong surge from Peter Steph Dutoy, and then De Klerk sniping yet again. And the offload is good for Kitsov. Kolisi. Big pick and go from the captain. De Klerk looks to his left. Snyman! And a little juggle, but then a P-Ray! DMG is there! Shields cleaned well, off well, effectively well, as well. well He's diving! Well, making some good headway. That's better ball for De Klerk and Pollard and Mostert. Good work there from uh, Tom Curry, slowing position down. And Antoirira bursts through the middle. He got one hand off in. Now Snayman out the back for Vermeulen. Lines up for Nipola and steps in. Dwayne 